Hello, I am Marcus Belvin, Outbound Product Manager here at ServiceNow. With our Xanadu release, we introduced the Service Reliability Management Solution to meet the key needs of operations managers and support teams alike. In this demo, we will highlight the efficiency of on-call scheduling by defining a support shift window, assigning a team to cover the shift, and escalation triggers, policies, and steps for the shift. Let's start at the Service Operations Workspace home, where you can choose the Teams tile on the left navigation toolbar to locate an existing team or add a team for which this on-call schedule will apply. Let's choose the SRE Shift 2 team in this example, and on the Schedule tab, create a shift to define when the team will be on-call. We will name this new shift First Shift, choose a shift start date and time, followed by a shift end date and time. Note, you can leverage the pop-up calendar to ensure the syntax is appropriate for these settings. Then under the repeats dropdown, we will keep the default value of daily and under more options, select an end date on which we want to end this repeated shift. Press create shift to store these shift details. You can see the created shift on the calendar pane, but take note of the new pane that appears on the right of the calendar with details about the shift. We will click save and publish for the shift so we can set the escalation trigger and policies later. Now, let's add members to work this new shift. On the members tab, under primary heading, you can choose how frequently the members will repeat this shift. Then click add rotation to select the team members for which this shift should apply and save these changes. Next, we select the escalation triggers and policy tab and start by creating a trigger. In the center pane, we'll enter an escalation trigger name of P1 incidents and enter a priority order to apply if there are multiple escalation triggers being evaluated. Note the lower the number, the higher the order priority. Next, expand the conditions section to select the incident table and apply a condition that defines this trigger as priority is critical. Then, save your changes for this escalation trigger. The following step, we will create a policy under the escalation policy section. For this escalation policy name, we will enter escalation P1 incident and select the active on shift value of first shift that we created earlier in this demo. We will leave the create from scratch choice enabled, ensure active and use as default are selected as well, as this is our first escalation policy for this trigger. So we want to ensure it is invoked. Now we need to define what steps to take when this policy is invoked by adding escalation steps. Let's set the escalation step name to escalate P1 incident step and choose to rotate through the members for this shift team. Then set the responder level dropdown to primary. Note, we only defined a primary response team earlier in this demo, but if you define secondary or more responders, you can choose any of them during this step. Additionally, we will send two reminder notifications every 15 minutes and set a 15 minute time after the last notification before continuing to the next step. Let's save these escalation changes. Your on-call schedule is all set and ready to be put into action. As a reminder, we chose a response team and efficiently created a support shift associated with that team. With that shift, we stepped through selection of a subset of members from the team to cover the shift and defined escalation triggers, policies, and steps to take when the shift is engaged. For more information about this and other new features, or to contact us, visit the ServiceNow ITOM community site. Thank you for your time and attention.